Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's now week two of the Eid. Get ready with me. Anyone who loves neutral tones, this video is for you. I am kind of obsessed with this look. I mean, every look I will be showing you guys in this series is a look that I am very much obsessed with. Hope you guys enjoy today's video. Let's begin. <laughs> We're gonna begin by prepping the skin and as always I'm using the DHC moisturizer. I absolutely love this moisturizer, I've been going on about it for years and if you follow me well you know how much I love it. And then I'm also gonna be using a little bit of lip balm. This one is by Clinique and it's in the flavor acai or the color. Then I'm gonna be using the Vichy Mineral 89 once again. I've been loving this hydrating serum pre-makeup simply because it sets so nicely under the skin and it doesn't get greasy or anything and it keeps my skin hydrated for a very long time. Then we're gonna go straight in with the eyebrows. I've been through this plenty of times so I'm not really gonna go into detail right now. I have a whole video on my current eyebrow routine. I've linked it in the description box so make sure you go and check that out. Next, we're gonna prime the eyelids. Now, some of you may think that this makeup look is quite similar to the previous look I did. However, it is a, it is a little bit different and a lot of it is to do with blending and you can really freestyle this however you think will suit your eye shape. So I'm gonna start using a lip liner by Illamasqua, I believe, and I'm using that because it's quite a creamy formula. You wanna use a lip liner that's quite creamy or even an eyeliner. I really like the shade of this lip liner in particular, so that's why I used it and it's very creamy so it doesn't snag on the skin. And I'm using the shade Rough to blend that liner slightly. The main thing you wanna do here is do very thin layers and keep blending to give you that kind of ombre brown shadow look around the liner. And then I'm going in with an angled brush with shade Naughty just to go over that line a little bit. I have slightly hooded eyes so I've done it in a way where I can still see the arch with the folded eyelids and I am blending that out again. The idea here is just to create layers and just keep blending and adding layers and blending until you get the desired look. I'm happy with how it looks right now. And then I'm gonna use my base that I used earlier by NARS to create a cleaner cut out liner look. And lastly, I'm gonna be using the eyeshadow in Hypnotic and I'm just gonna fill out that area where I've kind of put the concealer on. Straight with the liner, this is really easy. You're just gonna follow where you put the line at the base of your eye. You can do your liner however you like. I kind of made it kind of medium thick just so that it works with the lashes that I'm gonna use. So today's lashes are a little bit more dramatic than the ones I used last time, just because I felt like this look deserved that. And I'm using these lashes by Faye Lashes. I absolutely love their lashes. And I have a discount code for you guys. Check the description box for that. I believe these are in the style Abu Dhabi and they're one of my absolute favorites. Then I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty foundation. This is the newer foundation, so the re-released foundation. And I've got it in the shade Baklava. I'm usually Butter Pecan in the other one. But I got Baklava in this one and it's an alright match. I wouldn't say it's my perfect match. But um, it's okay and it kind of blends nicely with my body colour. Like this, the skin colour of my body in, in comparison to the skin colour of my actual face. So it worked. But um, this is a very thick foundation and it's quite full coverage. So I didn't use too much. Then I'm going in with the concealer by NARS in the shade Ginger. And I'm just blending that. I recently rediscovered this concealer and I really have fallen in love with it once again. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed but I've ditched the beauty sponge and I've been loving using this brush or any kind of small buffing brush for my concealer. I just feel like it gives the best finish and it stops me from wasting product which is an issue I had before with sponges. Next, I'm gonna be going in with Hourglass Translucent Powder. I would like to warn you guys, after I did this makeup, I went out to eat, and unfortunately, this 
powder does not work with flash photography so just a little warning for you guys it's it, it's not my it would not be my choice if i was going to be taking photos it was my first time going out with it to be honest it was my first time going out period but i wouldn't recommend it i'll probably recommend you use the laura mercier instead but it is such a lovely powder and i would definitely use it if i'm not really doing any kind of flash photography in the dark so I've just put on a little bit of bronzer. I wanted to keep this look quite matte today because I wanted all the drama to be on the eyes and a little bit on the lips, which you'll see in a moment. I've only used the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer and I believe it's in the shade Tan. Next, I'm going to be going in with my lips and I'm using actually the same lip liner by Illa Masca that I used on my eyes earlier. I'm just adding some of this new NARS lipstick. I absolutely love this color. It's like a sheer lipstick. It's not like full coverage and it's got like a natural finish. Finally, I'm just adding a little bit of freckles using this freckle pen that Lime Crime had a while ago, but they don't do this anymore. But I put alternative freckle pens in the description box. So go and check that out. And that is the finished makeup look. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. So I initially went with this hijab style and by the way I'm using shade Amour which you can actually purchase from today on haveyoubeautasilver.com I cannot wait for you guys to see this outfit. So I went with this beautiful, unique abaya that I got from a company called Saleh Fashion and they do the most unique, beautiful abayas. If you love neutral tones, you would love what they have on their website. So the color of the abaya is like a caramel color and I paired it with these beautiful heels from Public Desire. They just work perfectly and they match my scarf. So this is what the abbe looked like with the scarf in the style and I wore a nude maxi dress underneath it here and then I kind of switched it up because I felt like I needed something that was not nude underneath the abbe and also I kind of played around with the scarf style and I did this kind of half up half down turban style and I added some blue jeans I just felt like the nude dress didn't really match very well with it, but let me know which look you preferred. By the way, you can get a discount on the Saleh Fashion website We're using this code on screen right now. Um, and it's valid until May, I believe. So make sure you go and check them out and grab yourself a abaya. They have some beautiful designs. I'm sure you guys will love them just as much as I did. I just love how fluffy the, the style is and it's so different. I've never worn anything like it before. And it's definitely something that will be catching the attention of a lot of people. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure you're subscribing and hit the like button while you're at it. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next week.